Okay, folks, so in this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is create your Fab Gadget logo in Canva. Um, so the way to go about doing this is to go to the search bar and type in logo. Um, and I've got projects selected at the moment. I don't want that. I want templates. Um, and I want to click on logo 500 by 500 pixels. Okay, I'm just going to click on that one. Um, I don't want any of these. I want blank logos. So I'm going to click on create blank logo. And we need to create something that looks like the Fab Gadget logo in the worksheet um, that your teacher will have shared with you. So to do that, what I'm going to do is go to elements and I'm going to choose circles and I'm going to choose this circle here because we want a circle with one color around the edge and one color in the middle. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to resize it. So by dragging the corner of the um, image to the edges of my canvas, so it's the size of the canvas and then if i click on it in the top left hand corner here i can change the color so i'm going to change the outer color to be uh, black i'm going to change the inner color to be um, a light gray okay so that's a good start to my um, logo what i need now is the yellow faded out bit in the middle um, so what I'm going to do um, to get that is um, click on the circle gold. No, what about purple circle? Okay, there we go. That purple faded out thing will do. So I'm going to click on um, that. You can get to that with purple circle. Um, we don't want it to be purple. We want it to be yellow. So I'm going to click on the top left bit and um, change the color to yellow. Okay, so this is looking um, a bit more like it. What I need to do now though, is add the lightning bolt in the middle. Um, so in elements, I'm gonna search for lightning and find the one that looks the best. Um, Let's choose, I think the one further up here is better, that one. Okay, so let's choose that one. Um, and then change the color to be a light blue. Um, so I've got almost all my logo here. Um, what I want to do now is um, add some text. So I'm going to go to text here on the left hand side and click add a heading. Um, my heading is going to be Fab Gadget um, Limited. And I want this text to be curved at the bottom of my logo. So to do that, what I could do is um, effects at the top there and then click on curve. That's curved around the wrong way. So we want to drag this slider to curve it back the other way. And then um, drag this down to the bottom of our image. It needs to be a bit more curved than that. There you go, that looks good. Okay, um, change the color of this text I think as well to make it stand out a bit i'm gonna make it um, let's go for let's go for that orange see how that works yeah that's good okay, i'm just moving the text a little bit further away from the black outer circle so it doesn't overlap and what I can then do as my final stage of creating my logo is save it as a logo of a transparent background. So to do that, I'm going to click on share, download, and then 
make sure I've got this box checked here, transparent background, and then click on download. And then that will download to your um, computer. Um, and if your teachers ask you to, you can submit it on Classroom. Um, and you can also um, add it um, into your um, poster project.